Taff and Burnin are two popular sewing machine brands that have been around since the 18 zeros. But if you're looking at upgrading your sewing machine or buying one for the first time, how do you know which one to choose? Both Faf and Burnin carry manual and computerized sewing, quilting, and embroidery machines with various features. The exact features will vary based on the machine model you choose, so it's hard to choose a clear winner based on features alone. However, in terms of price, quality, and durability, the two brands are also similar. The only difference is that Burnin seems to have a better warranty policy. Ultimately, the brand that you choose just depends on which one stands out to you more and meets your needs. But to help you decide, I'll explain the similarities and differences between the two brands. I'll also share some of the most popular model's key features, pros, and cons. Faf Sewing Machines The first Faf sewing machine was invented in Germany by George Michael Faf in 1862. That means that the brand itself has been around for over 150 years. Ten years later, 1,000 sewing machines had been produced, a pretty impressive feat considering the times, and the fact that the company didn't even have a factory yet. Faf finally opened their first sewing machine factory in 1902, and the business really took off after that. Eight years after the factory opened, the company had produced their 1 millionth sewing machine, and it hadn't even been 50 years since the first Faf was invented. After their 1 millionth machine was produced, Faf became more innovative. Thanks to new models and the growing market for sewing machines, they produced their 5 millionth sewing machine in 1950, less than 100 years after the company was first started. Burnin Sewing Machines The Burnin Sewing Machine Company is today a fourth-generation family business originally started in Switzerland in 1893, making this brand over 125 years old. This year, Carl Friedrich Jegoff invented the first hemstitch sewing machine, capable of stitching 100 stitches per minute. Due to being the first sewing machine with those capabilities, it quickly became a hit. Seven years later, in 1900, a small factory was established with 70 to 80 workers, and more sewing machines were able to be produced. Jegoff was in charge of the technical aspects of the factory, while his brother Jorg ran the business interests. Many Burnin sewing machines were being sold worldwide for commercial use. Fafias, Burnin sewing machines, keep Faf and Burnin have a long history of creating high-quality and innovative sewing machines. They both have been able to keep up with the times as far as the advancement of their models and the selection of models available to suit the needs of any sewist, quilter, or embroiderer. With that being said, most of the differences between these two sewing machine companies lie in the features of their models, so it would be impossible to compare every single model. So instead, I've compiled this table of things a person might look for when buying a sewing machine so that you can compare the two companies at a glance. Fafias, Burninet, Similarities and Differences Now that you've gone a brief overview of the major characteristics of each of these two brands, let's take a closer look. I'll also judge each of the two brands against each other to determine which one is better in certain categories. Features When it comes to machine features, they vary greatly depending on what your needs are. For example, sewing vs. Quilting Each model will also vary as far as the accessories that it comes with and what the machine itself is capable of. Since it's hard to compare the features of each model due to having so many models available, I thought I'd compare some of the features that are standard to all machines as well as other technologies and software that the company offers. Functionality In terms of functionality, there is very little difference between Faf and Bernina. Both companies sell machines with a wide range of functions, so if you need sewing, quilting, or embroidery machine or one that serves multiple purposes, there are plenty from both brands to choose from. Portability if you're short on space or need to travel with your machine, then portability should be a major consideration for you. Faf has two compact and portable sewing machine models, Passport 2.0 and Passport 3.0, that are designed to be carried with you. Built and Stitches It's hard to compare these two sewing machine brands based on the number of built and stitches that the machines have. The number of built and stitches just depends on any one particular model. The machine's functionality can also determine how many stitches a particular model has, whether it's for sewing, embroidery, or quilting. Stitches per minute. Stitches per minute is another category in which determining which is better depends on the particular model. But in general, FAF machines seem to have lower speeds than burn the machines. Some FAF models have speeds as fast as 800 stitches per minute, while some of the larger burn in machines have speeds of up to 1,000 stitches per minute. Even some of the compact burn in machines have speeds of up to 900 stitches per minute. Durability Both Faf and Burnin have a reputation for creating sewing machines that can last a very long time. The more expensive machines tend to be more durable, 
while the less expensive machines probably won't be as durable. Even though the compact machines are smaller and more portable, they likely won't be as durable either, especially if you don't protect them while traveling. But overall, it's hard to determine which brand has better durability because they both can last for years as long as they are well taken care of. Quality Just like both brands are durable, they are both high quality machines. That's why these two brands have been able to stay in business for over 100 years. Both of these brands produce machines with many features and they are constantly looking to evolve to create better and more innovative products. As with durability, quality is usually equal to what you pay for it. More expensive models are likely to be made with higher quality materials and come with more accessories and more advanced features. Overall, they are both unique and innovative in their own ways, but it's hard to say which is better because both companies have a strong commitment to excellence and the satisfaction of their customers. Affordability These two brands are very comparable in terms of price, and neither one is necessarily more affordable than the other. Both have sewing machines that range in price from a few hundred dollars to thousands of dollars. The price just depends on whether the machine is computerized or manual and other features and accessories that it comes with. Service or warranty The service and warranty is one area where one of these brands is better than the other. While both are committed to ensuring their customers are satisfied and providing the resources needed to be successful with sewing, you also need to ask yourself what happens if your machine stops working. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.